guys and welcome back to the poetry of nights i have another haul video for you guys today um, this is mostly yard sales and a couple of church rummage sales as well um, as usual to sell on ebay and etsy so here we go the very first thing i did was go to a couple of yard sales a lot of misses today it was not a good day in general which you wouldn't think from looking at the haul because there's plenty there but it was a slow start to put it that way so the first one that I went to that I actually got anything from was this small handheld game and um, I had recently sold a slightly older slightly larger one for 10 bucks that I got for 25 cents so I picked this up for 50 cents um, it is not worth anything on its own really but I have a bunch of these little ones kind of hanging out and um, that I'd got from other yard sales and got another lot so i'm going to start lotting them together and hopefully make a few bucks on that just putting them together and like i said this was 50 cents and it'll go into a lot with a bunch of other uh, old handheld electronic games um okay so the next one I got a pair of sandals for myself. <laughs> um, we are going on vacation towards the end of the year uh, to Disney World, funnily enough, and I'm actually paying for that whole vacation from my reselling, um, which I'm going to be doing a few kind of vlogs to do with how I'm doing that, how I'm able to save the money, um, and also how I'm able to kind of get some of the good deals and some stuff on the cheap. So stay tuned if you're interested in that at all. But alongside those sandals that I will take with me to walk around the parks, because they are super comfortable, which were a book, um, I got this little vintage uh, coupon box. It's from 1989, just a little tin one. Um, and it's in okay condition, but this will go ahead um, and pop this up on Etsy. Um, and that should do okay. I'm probably looking about 10 bucks for that, something along those lines. And that was a dollar as well. Like I said, kind of slim pickings today at the beginning, so I kind of took what I could, um, but it, it got better. Um, okay, and so let's see. Um, one of the next ones I went to, I picked this whole thing up for three bucks. It is a, uh, they're all unopened, new in their boxes. It's a Martha Stewart's craft, um, you'll probably see their frame border punch starter set, and then it has two extra cartridges, both new in box as well. Um, to go with it with these different patterns and um, so pick that for three bucks looking between 20 and 30 for that at the moment on eBay um, let me think um, okay the next one I went to was actually church rummage sale where they asked you to please just go ahead and pay what you wanted to at the end so I evened out my stuff and paid about 50 cents to a dollar a piece depending on condition and um, I got just a little bell to go on um, Etsy vintage Washington DC um, and then this I just thought was super cute so this will do on Etsy as well I know it will um, and this is from I think it has the date on here somewhere let me see. Oh, focus, focus. Just kidding. Um, anyway, 1970s, I think. So that's pretty cute. Um, and that probably go for about six, seven dollars on Etsy, which, you know, for 50 cents, whatever. It doesn't take long to list. Um, also got this. This is a Disney Storm mug, Halloween, Winnie the Pooh. They're fairly generic, pretty cute. That was 25 cents. Um, and also got let me think. Oh, this guy. Brace yourself. All right. So this was 50 cents. And this is officially one of the ugliest, ugly Christmas sweaters that I have ever seen. So we're rocking the Noel down here. Uh, we got these awesome <coughs> embellished stockings down here. Snowmen, baubles, reindeer, complete with bell. It's just obnoxious and super cool. So I got that for 50 cents. I'm going to throw that up in the ugly sweater category, as it were. As it were, some uh, decent keywords going on there. And I expect that to sell for uh, about the $20 mark, give or take. Okay, I'll fold that up. Um, picked up another Veggie Tales, the star of Christmas this was a dollar I tend to pick these up wherever I go when they're in good condition and I lot them together as well and they go really well as a bundle on eBay I've done that several times now and um, got this this is 1978 copy of the Swiss Family Robinson and it is in beautiful condition whoever had this really did take care of it a little bit of cursive handwriting here but otherwise illustrations and things inside are gorgeous so I'm going to throw that up on Etsy and potentially cross this on eBay as well 
Um, the next place, I, oh, I will mention this as well. I got this for thrown in for free. Um, still new with tags. You know, they, no one's really selling them by themselves on eBay, which I can understand. Um, but I may throw it up or I may just keep that for my vacation to store shoes and I'm not sure yet. Um, and I have Tom, so that will work. And then I also got this for 50 cents. This is so easy. So now this is from the church rummage sale. And it's just a binder full of different kind of like sewing patterns and notions and things like that. Um, and they were going fairly well online. Um, this one has a tiny bit of damage right here in the corner. Other than that, it is pretty much pristine. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a wipe up and uh, see if I can't get 20 bucks for that. 50 cents into 20. Uh, that'll do. Um, okay, the next place I went to was actually, funnily enough, since we're going to Disney, somewhere where they were giving away, or well, giving away, selling a lot of their Disney World merchandise. Um, so I ended up with all kinds of different plush. And let me start by saying I got this uh, Minnie Mouse Zoom Zoom thingy. This one's still new with tags. It's like a Christmas tree ornament, another Minnie Mouse. And then this one is, it's a Disney Park exclusive Pookaloos. I don't, I don't know, whatever. But uh, I've gone ahead and I've already listed and I've lotted these things, uh, three things together as a Minnie Mouse plush lot. So we'll see how those do. And I threw them all up, all three for $24.99 with the best offer. Um, got a Baby Alive 2008 by Hasbro. It's one of the like drinking, peeing, blah, blah, whatever. Um, so she's gone up for around the sort of $10, $15 mark. Um, she's in really good condition. She just, no accessories, but she's doing good. Uh, and then I also got this. And funnily enough, this is doing well on, on eBay. Go <laughs> figure. It is a Disney Parks exclusive, which is kind of cool. And it's like a, a baby rattle. It's got this kind of gray pink thing happening with the Minnie Mouse, but this is doing well between 20 and 30 right now online, depending on condition. And honestly, this thing looks like it has never been touched. So I'll give it a little bit of a clean regardless and give it a thorough inspection and see what we can do with her. Um, each one of these pieces, by the way, evened out at about 65 cents a piece at this yard sale. And this guy was 50 cents, just how he was marked there. Um, Cheshire Cap, obviously, and he is a Disney Store exclusive. And online at the moment, the last few, I'm petting him, look how weird is that. Um, <laughs> the last few that went were around the $24, $25 mark. So, you know, that'll work. Um, okay, and I also got this T-shirt there which is just a Walt Disney World Christmas t-shirt. You can see in there, um, size small. I have not yet decided whether or not I'm gonna sell that. It depends how it does. I may throw it up at a decent price and see what happens. Otherwise, I don't care to keep that for 60 cents. I think it's cool. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, I also got this at the same place where I got all these like Disneyland plush. Um, so funny story. It was the husband that I ran into. The wife had gone inside. I'd grabbed all these plush, the t-shirt, and I'd grabbed this as well. And he already told me everything was half price at this sale because they wanted it gone because it was Saturday. So I grabbed this and I showed him everything that I had. And I said, how much do you want for this whole bundle? This is what I've got. And he kind of looked at it and looked at me and he was like, yeah, give me five bucks for everything. <laughs> I was like, are you sure? He said, yeah, whatever. So I gave him five bucks for the whole thing, which means that this Vera Bradley little uh, crossbody purse, which I have to tell you is pristine, um, cost me 65 cents. Not $12, not $6, but 65 cents. Fair enough. And I actually plan to keep this for myself and use this in the Disney park since it's a really good size. Um, but as I was walking away, his wife kind of walked out. <laughs> I know that she was starting to ask him. And I kind of looked back and I mean, I, I kept walking because I showed him what I had and he looked at it and that's what he wanted for it. But I feel like I may have left the scene of it domestic incident we'll see <laughs> um got this at a, another yard sale 25 cents it's fossil again it's just about pristine i will say that it has the slightest of smoky smells Ugh. but um other than that it's really fantastic and again for a quarter i am going to be keeping that for myself <laughs> for the parks because it's got this kind of like canvassy uh, waterproof thing happening as well and it fits perfectly inside my new 65 cents Vera Bradley crossbody um so yeah so that's gonna go with me to the parks and let me just say if you're interested in any of this um I will be making a video about all of the things I have been cleaning been collecting throughout the last several months for um 
for our Disney vacation while I'm sourcing at yard sales and thrift stores. Um, I clean everything thoroughly. I treat it just well. I, I do everything I can to make sure that it's really good condition and stuff. And I'm picky. I am picky. But, you know, along with these plush, I also got for 65 cents a Disney Parks exclusive Pluto plush, a big one. He's really nice condition. Again, looks like he had never been touched. And I have squirreled that away. And for my three-year-old, that is going to be one of his like surprise gifts at Disney World. And it's not 20, 25 bucks in the park. It was 65 cents and it's the exact same one. And he's going to be thrilled. So, you know, stay tuned if you are interested in that stuff. I love to do full on Disney, but if I can do it cheaper, I'm going to do it cheaper. Okay. Uh, I went ahead and got this Sonic original snapback hat. Good condition again. This was a book. I thought it was just too interesting to pass up. I have no idea how well it's going to do, but you know, I feel like it might do okay. We'll see. It's an experiment. Got a little bit of marking there. We'll see what we can do with that. But you know, for a book, I I'm going to make my money back at least. You know, it's an experiment. It's a learning curve. Um, got this jigsaw puzzle, thousand piece. It's like a Halloween scene going on. Um, it is not sealed on the outside, but when you open it up inside, she says, here we go. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Well, you can pretty much, there you go. Take my word for it. It is all sealed up inside. So I know all the pieces are there and I can sell it as new. Um, and then my very last thing I think is this. This was 50 cents. I got it because it was 50 cents and I feel like someone somewhere in the universe may appreciate this if they're from Knoxville and like the Tennessee Vols. So it does need a little bit of a clean, a little bit of a scrub up and stuff, but essentially it is this kind of varsity jacket thing happening here for the UT Vols and it is thick and good quality. I mean, you know, it's not bad at all and there's no like actual holes and stuff to it, but it is dirty on the outside. Um, and then we got a whacking great big Tennessee on the back there. But um, yeah, I need to look into it a little bit more. The, the tag is looking kind of old to me, but I, I don't really know. So I'll be investigating. But yeah, so 50 cents, we'll throw that up and we'll see what happens. If nothing else, I imagine it will go locally pretty well since we live in Tennessee. Um, okay, and that is my haul for today. Um, hopefully next week will be a little bit better, a little bit more variety, <laughs> slightly less Disney. I don't know. It was just one of those kind of days, I guess. Um, I'd like some more bigger ticket items, that's for sure, next week. But I will be back with a sales video pretty soon. And thank you guys for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.